Welding is important for a number of industrial processes. It's a big part of engineering and is used in shipbuilding or car manufacturing and so on. If you have to combine two pieces of metal to create anything else, welding is the go-to procedure. There are all sorts of welding techniques, each with varying results depending on your aims. There is flux core welding, tip TIG welding, and laser welding. Suffice it to say, SpaceX engineers have tried all these methods at some point. Welcome to our channel, in this video we'll discuss how SpaceX smooth starship welding is a game changer. Before heading on to the video, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you may never miss any of our updates. Initially, the SpaceX rocket was supposed to be made from carbon fiber, but then the switch was made to aluminum. Carbon fiber was way more expensive and less durable to heat, and so it was a no-brainer for Elon Musk and his team, especially if they plan to reuse the rocket multiple times. Aluminum is cheaper per kilogram and doesn't require as much of a heat shield like carbon fiber does. Then comes the difficult part, which is welding the aluminum in such a way that it can withstand whatever extreme conditions are thrown at it. The first ever SpaceX craft to be built was an insult to an engineering... Pardon our French. It was ugly, and you could tell by looking at the pictures that it was like a patchwork from a prep schooler. On its first test, it exploded, and the weld couldn't endure all that pressure. SpaceX engineers now realized that they were weighing over their heads. To be fair, welding technicians who worked on the Mack spacecraft were water tank engineers and had no prior experience in aerospace, but trust that the SpaceX team learned their lessons and continued improving the designs. So the SpaceX team brainstormed the heck out of the problem. Apparently, NASA needed to offer more help or give pointers. They were probably rooting for SpaceX to fail. Just joking! Ultimately, the team worked on a better body structure and sought a better way to weld the aluminum. This is where the FSW comes in. It is called the Friction Stir Welding in Full and was developed by the Welding Institute in the UK in 1991. Other welding methods require metal to be put through great temperatures to facilitate the process. In fact, the metal to be welded is practically melted, but FSW is a solid state method of welding that only requires a tool that passes over the line to be welded. It works by generating friction as it goes over the line. This friction produces just about enough heat to soften the metal to the point that it's malleable. Then this tool mechanically joins the panels to be welded while it's still malleable. Just like working clay or hammering a preheated metal into shape, it is described as a forging process. SpaceX engineers have since seen the advantages of using FSW on their spacecraft. The more recent launch of spacecraft of SpaceX craft employed the FSW method in putting together the breakoff fuel tanks. These tanks were used in the Falcon Heavy rocket, which recently launched into orbit. The payload was a dummy in a Tesla Roadster. The launch was successful thanks to the durability obtained from using FSW. The joints required a lot of tensile strength that could not be achieved in any other way, and this is why FSW's importance to the aerospace industry and its further application in future engineering builds cannot be overemphasized enough not least in the private aerospace industry going forward. Let's see the pros and cons of the FSW method. The use of FSW exhibits good mechanical properties. For instance, there are no weld marks or scars, so rest assured spaceships will look as shiny as the ones in your favorite sci-fi movies. FSW employs friction and not fusion, with the added advantage that it's safer and easier to operate. It's also cheaper to set up, making it more environmentally friendly. Moreover, no toxic fumes are released during welding. On the flip side, plates to be welded have to be secured so that the sheer force of the welding tool doesn't undo them. Remember, the tool generates heat by the force of friction. Also, the tool has to move slowly across the line, unlike fusion welds, so having to pass over the weld line multiple times considerably adds up to the overall time spent during the procedure. Conclusively, the FSW method is really the game changer that SpaceX engineers have sought. It also ties into using aluminum as the best material for spacecraft. By and large, this bolsters the idea that innovations are usually compelled to figure things out as they go, and the answers that we all seek will come to us eventually. If you've reached this far, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the notification bell so you do not miss any future updates. See you in another video. Until then, take care. Do tell us your views in the comment section.